Okay, so they are done with the floors, guys, and it looks really good, so much better. I'm loving it. And I'm also painting my back door right now. Decided to go ahead and paint it black. I think it looks really good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start decorating. welcome back so I am done decorating the family room and I'm like so excited about it it looks really good like way better than expected but before I share with you guys I just want to say thank you so much for your patience with this video because it's been taking me forever to get it uploaded but I decided to do renovations and of course it you know it took time and I had to wait for furniture pieces to arrive but now everything is in order although I might change some stuff around that I'm not really 100% satisfied with but it's not like too too bad you'll see when I do the tour but yeah if you're not already subscribed I would love it if you do so that'll be so so awesome and don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you're always notified whenever I upload a video so with all of that being said let me shut up and show you guys what you are here to see right <laughs> gonna walk around the space and tell you where everything is from starting with what you see as soon as you're entering the family room so this console table is from Amazon and it came with these crystal knobs I didn't replace the knobs on this I usually do that with furniture pieces because I don't always like the knobs but yeah it has crystal knobs and it's really really pretty and the decor is from Ross the picture frames this cute vase all from Ross the candle stick and holder is from Dollar Tree really nice and these artificial flowers are from Dollar Tree as well you guys already know I love some artificial flowers from Dollar Tree because I really suck at keeping real ones alive 
So yeah, <laughs> that's that. Okay, so over here I have this rug in front of my back door. This is from Ross as well. Really nice. And then I have this curtain here that goes on your door. I got this from Amazon. I'll have links for all of this stuff, like all of the linkable items. But I also painted my back door black because I just love the look. And over here I have this, oh my curtains, let's talk about the curtains. So I found these from Amazon as well. Really nice. And if you look closely, oh God, the lighting sucks. Let me go on this side, see if you can see the pattern on it. Not really, but you know, you can see it when you click on the link. But it has like a really nice pattern. And um, I have this lamp here. This is from Marshalls, I believe. And next to it is just a basket that I found at the Arts and Crafts store with some pillows in it. Okay, and on this side, I just have this cube ottoman that I found at Ross as well. And the mirror is also from Ross. Now this is an artificial plant that I found at TJ Maxx. But the planter is from Ross. And it doesn't come like designed like this. This is actually the planter that's attached to the plant, but I couldn't push it all the way inside of this planter. But I really like the look, so I decided to keep it as is. And then I have this lamp from Lowe's. Really love the way this looks, very unique. And I used the chandelier light bulbs instead of like some regular ones because I wanted the light to be really nice and soft and it looks really good at nighttime. So yeah, and I found this cabinet at at home a very, very long time ago. And on top is just a tray that I also found at, at home and this plant from TJ Maxx. And then I have my automatic sprayer here. And then I just have this small candle holder here. I actually need to put a candle inside, but it's a really cute. I found this at Dollar Tree. And then I found these candle holders at Ross. It didn't come as a set, they just sell them individually. And I was lucky enough to find three that were different heights. So it looks like a set, but yeah, you have to buy it individually. And it's really, really pretty, very glam. And then I have this wall art that I found on Amazon. And it's the same piece, I just took one and flipped it because I just wanted to create like a different look. But yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. And then I have my pillows all from Home Goods. And also this throw is from Home Goods as well. Really nice. The sofas are from Grand Furniture. I like them. I really love the blue. As you guys can see, I love blue. It's like my favorite color when it comes down to home decor. But yeah, okay, so the area rug is from Inspire Me Home Decor, her line with QVC. And it's sold out in this size, but I will just have the link for all of her items that she is selling. You guys probably already know who she is, Farah from Inspire Me Home Decor. She has really amazing items on her um in her line and she's really popular on Instagram so I'm pretty sure you guys know who she is so yeah and over here I have more pillows I got this one from Ross and then I found this one at a store called Shoppers World it's like a really cheap kind of store it was my first time seeing it so I decided to go inside but everything is like you know pretty cheap but I saw these covers and I was like oh my goodness I have to buy these and put them in my family room because of the blue and it's just really pretty so yeah and then again this one is from home goods I really love this this is so pretty to me and then I have this tray here for just sitting drinks and the remote when we are watching TV. I found this at TJ Maxx. And then I just have this here for kicking my feet up when I'm watching TV. I found this at Ross. Really, really nice. And over here, oh, I talked about the basket already. Okay, so the fireplace. Now this space, this area, I am not satisfied with at all. 
let me tell you guys why. So, well, okay, before I tell you that, let me just tell you what the decor is from. So this pen is from TJ Maxx. This vase is from Target. I found these, you know, artificial um, flowers from Dollar Tree. And again, TJ Maxx. Now, my issue with the fireplace. So when we moved in, we noticed that this was a built-in for the sound system. So when they created this fireplace and decided to wire the sound system that's throughout the house, I, we don't use it, but... Um, they put all of the wires behind this board. This is like a look, a DIY for me. I just took some foam board, covered it in some wallpaper and painted it the same color as the wall. But as you can see, you can tell it's like a board that's hiding all of the wires that's sticking out of the wall. Now the way they made this was for a TV to go here, but our TV is way too big to go there and I just don't like the TV being above the fireplace. I just don't care for it. And when we're in the kitchen, which is a mess right now because you know the house is still under renovations. But um, yeah, when we're in the kitchen, we like to be able to see the TV. And with the TV being here, we wouldn't be able to see it. Like if we're cooking and watching TV at the same time, you know, we want to see the movie and cook. But whoever designed the fireplace area just did a really terrible job. So I'm still working on this area. I'm not satisfied with how I have the design. I mean, I like the vase here, but I'm I'm probably going to move these flowers. I feel like that's just too much and maybe put some different decor. But as of right now, it's good enough. But yeah, okay. So over here, I have this stand, this... um accent table that I found at Ross which is so so pretty oh my goodness you can find some really good stuff at Ross really nice stuff in this vase as well you will notice this design throughout the space because they have so many different shapes and I think this is so pretty and just super glam and these plants inside are from Kirkland so really cute now the chair is from Tuesday morning. I found it years ago at Tuesday morning and it's really nice. I like it. This pillow is from, I want to say Home Goods. Yeah, this is from Home Goods. And the throw is from Burlington. I love the fringe. Really pretty. And I like how I have it going on the angle. It's super cute. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so you guys already know my DIY that I created with these mirrors is from Dollar Tree. But I just went ahead and added more so that it can go from the floor to the ceiling and I really love it. This plant, I'm more than likely going to move this. I just, I'm debating on if I want plants in front of these mirrors or if I just want to leave it plain with just the mirror let me move it out of the way so the main reason i did want to put something here is to kind of hide the wires for the sound system but i don't know i'll maybe try to push it closer to the wall i would have to move this um subwoofer back some i don't know maybe just put it behind the curtain that way i can put the wires closer to the wall and you really cannot see it just sticking out like that but it's not really a big deal so yeah i'm still debating on if i want to keep the plant in front of the mirror or just leave it as is i really do love greenery though but for now i'll just keep it i'll keep the plant in front of it found it at ross but um okay so on to this cabinet that I found on Amazon and I found it on sale. It was the last one in stock. I don't know if it's restocked yet but you know the last time I checked it was still sold out. Okay so on top I have some candle holders from Tuesday morning. I also have these LED candles from Tuesday morning as well and you can control it with a remote so I really like that. Really nice and then I have this lamp from Ross. The majority of my decor in here is from Ross, guys. I just love the store. But I wanted to put some lamps on top and nothing too big with like shades because I just didn't like the way it looked next to the TV. So I went with something small and I was able to find this really glamorous one. And it looks so good at night. It's not too bright because I really do not like really bright lamps when I'm just trying to sit down and watch a movie at night. It's the perfect amount of light. And I also used a chandelier light bulbs. So that's another thing you can do to just have like a really nice soft light. Use the chandelier light bulbs. But yeah. 
So I have that on both sides. And again, with this vase, this design, which is the same. And also on the coffee table. But we will get to the coffee table in a second. So I decided to put this here to hide the, um, the cords from the TV. All right, so moving on to, oh, the floors. Let me tell you guys about the floors. So I got, the these are laminate floors from Lowe's. I was about to say Rawls. <laughs> no, I didn't get these from Rawls. Okay, so these are from Lowe's, and these are the Pergo Premium Max. So, like, really good quality laminate. I didn't want to get real hardwood because, you know, the maintenance of that is just, like mm -mm. no i have kids they would destroy real hardwood floors so i wanted something that was more durable something that was more water resistant this isn't going to be waterproof but it is water resistant so you don't have to be too too worried if you get a spill but you do want to wipe it up you know immediately you don't want it to just sit on the floor which I mean, why would you just let water sit on the floor anyways? But this one is the Silver Mist Oak design. Really nice. And I think it looks really good with the wall color, which is Repost Gray by Sherwin-Williams. So, yeah. And then, let's see. Oh, the coffee table. This is the last thing in the space, I believe. Yeah, so the coffee table I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. I believe it's still sold out, but if I can find a link for it, I will have it in the description box. But I decided to just, you know, keep the decor kind of simple. I'm not really crazy about having a ton of stuff on the coffee table because I really love the way the glass is cut and the design. So I'm not trying to cover that up with a bunch of decor. So I figured, let me just keep it simple. Maybe I'll get like a tray to put this stuff in because I really do love trays, but I couldn't find one. And I figured, you know what, I'll find one eventually. Let me still do the video. <laughs> but I found these really nice candle holders from Burlington's. And this vase from Ross. And these flowers from Dollar Tree. And I do buy real plants. I'm not going to say I just stick with the artificial ones all the time. I just prefer artificial because I don't keep the real ones alive for a long time. But yeah, I do buy real, you know, flowers. And especially like the like tall house plants. I like to get those from Lowe's or Home Depot because you can find them at really good prices. But I just didn't pick up any, you know, this time around but you do need to be careful if you have pets because some of those plants can be very dangerous all right so i believe that's everything in the space i don't feel like i'm missing anything oh and the silicon because i do still get questions about this now if this is your first time watching my video then this silicon fan is a dupe what i did was remove the original shade that came with the fan and i used a bowl this crystal bowl from Ross and I get questions about if you know if it gets really hot because of you know the light bulbs and I use chandelier, um, chandelier bulbs so no it doesn't get hot those crystals are the same as the one on this lamp so you're not going to have any issues with heat or melting or anything like that. It's safe, okay? And you want to use chandelier light bulbs and your, you know, light fixtures anyways. I mean, your ceiling fan. So, I'll, I'll list the link to some bulbs that I use um, from Lowe's. But you can go anywhere that sells bulbs. You'll see it'll say like um, chandelier or ceiling fan light bulbs. All right, so that is the space, guys, and I absolutely love it. It is definitely my style. It's just screaming glam everything. Yes, it's beautiful. I love it so much. I'm so excited. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed, especially if you enjoy, like, home makeovers and if this, like, glam style is your style, you definitely want to stick around for more because the dining room, the living room, I just plan to 
glam out the whole the downstairs area well the whole house minus the man cave but yeah go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would really love it and appreciate it but thank you guys so much for your patience on this video it's been taking me forever to get it up but it's it's done yes it's done <laughs> but um that's gonna be it i'll see you in the next one bye guys